So if this was the old days, there'd be a couch with your name on yeah, it? Yeah, there sure, sure would be. things in basketball and that's the thing that's become I've uh, become most noted for but I've been a skills development coach since I've since I've been in college and out of college I've been with a lot of great players. Uh, I'm a huge believer in footwork and lane. I've done it with post players and guards um, trying to attack the up foot off the dribble and post players trying to go it go with people's go with, attack their feet and you know the most noteworthy thing you know people are aware of with me now is shooting but I learned a long time ago how to evaluate individual strengths and weaknesses try and help players get better at individual individual skills. Coach Turgeon mentioned that you were sort of the guy that recruited um, Purdue's vets and then I believe Ian as well when did they pop up on your radar? So I, I knew Fats when he was in high school. I was at LaSalle for one season and helped recruit him to LaSalle, even though he picked Rhode Island. Uh, Caduce, Wahab, and I have known each other since he was in high school. I evaluated him when he was a younger guy. Um, was always aware of him, and I knew people around him. Um, so when it became known and, and, and they went into the portal, it was easy because there was people around those guys that knew me and knew my love for being on the court and helping guys get better. So. It worked out rapidly, and it worked out to our benefit, obviously. You, you talked about Eric, you know, improving his three-point shot. You know, I remember talking to Terrell Myers, you know, a guy who played yeah. for you, and he talked about how you helped him with his shot. But um, with Eric playing basically almost strictly off the ball this year, do you think that should help his perimeter shooting this year? Yeah, I hope so. And we, with Fats being in the rotation, a really a pass for his point guard. We're hoping he gets more open shots. Um, you know, he's our leading return scorer, so he'll be guarded well. He'll be, he'll be defended by everybody's best defender on the perimeter. But we think, you know, Caduce is a, is a willing passer. Dante is a willing passer. Hakeem is an excellent passer. And Fats obviously helps all of, all of our guys get easier shots. So we're hoping these guys get easier shots. Uh, but, they're, you know, I think Eric, Dante, and Fats' is, and Hakeem's form now is a, is a work in progress, and it's, it's really almost impeccable. So we're hoping our team shoots the ball really well, but we, we want each other to get each other open shots. Amongst all of this, where does Xavier Green fit in? I mean, seeing what he Yeah, Xavier, Xavier reminds me of when I first got Eric as a freshman. Xavier's been in the gym almost every night. He got here on August 2nd, and we've been in the gym almost every night. We, he's a late night now, so I'm, I'm willing to spend the time with Xavier. He had a good day today. He's still inconsistent, but his shot has really improved. It's still inconsistent. He's still learning muscle memory to change his old three-point shot to his new three-point shot. And I can tell you that uh, Xavier Green will be here tonight at 10 o'clock, and we'll be working on it. So hopefully he'll continue to work, which I know he will, and he'll continue to get better. What, what specific mechanical adjustments did you make with Hakeem? So Akeem yeah. was a two-handed set shooter. So uh, because he was always tall, he would shoot the ball with two hands. Mm -hmm. And he didn't elevate because he's always been long. So we didn't have to elevate. So we've gotten him to become a one-handed shooter. So his left hand, his guide hand was always with his right hand. So he would extend both arms. So Akeem, we've worked a lot on getting his left hand, his guide hand off the ball, getting him up, the, up, up in the air a little bit to create uh, upward mo mobility and strength. Um, some of the same things I'm actually working with Xavier. But very different than Dante, Eric, and Fats. So everybody's a little bit unique. Coach, how many hours a day do you spend here? So I love being in the gym. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not in the gym as much as I would like to, per NCAA rules. Mm -hmm. uh, but when guys want to be in the gym, we have managers and grad assistants that take what, I, what I'm teaching guys. Mm -hmm. So I'll take our GAs and our, and our managers. And I'll say, when you go on the court with, for instance, Xavier, he needs to be working on one or two things. These are the two things. Let's get a lot of shots, get a lot of repetition in, and let's make sure he's getting better at one or two things when he's shooting the ball. So if this was the old days, there'd be a couch with your name on yeah, it? Yeah, there sure, sure would be. Yeah. Uh, and I love being in the gym. The guys know I like being in the gym. But we've got a, a, bunch of, a bunch of guys that love being in the gym. We've got a lot of managers here. So they've watched me in the fall work with guys individually, and they know exactly what I'm looking for. So all they have to do is show me a video, if, if, you know, and, and I'll say, well, let's, let's keep working on this. And, um, you know, even during practice, we'll take the film from today. There was one shot that Xavier shot early. 
in the right corner. Mm -hmm. I'll show him that. You know, our manager will show him, or our film guy will show him. You know, in this shot, your form was like your old shot. Mm -hmm. So with through film work with our film coach, Brent, mm -hmm. and our managers, our GA, there's a lot of helping hands with our players.